So starting here is the fuse box. I left the cover off so you could see that. Yes, it is old school. And yes, this is on my list of things that I need to get an electrician to come in and take care of because that is beyond the scope of what I can do. I don't, I don't know what the lines coming in are. I know what fuse it is out at the pole, but not up my alley. So I'm gonna hire somebody to do that most likely. Uh, that line going there in the conduit is for the table saw. We put, I put that in last year. These two new ones are the new, the ones going down are the two new ones I just put in. So what we got is we come down and we basically hook right. And then we're gonna go underneath all the way down to the other end of the bench. So right here we have an outlet underneath the bench. So that is for the air compressor right here. Um, it was kind of a last minute thing. I was gonna put a junction box there for the outlets that are above, but I thought, hey, let's hook in an outlet real quick because now I don't have to run that cord up and around. So that's why that is there. Jumping on top of the bench, we've got the four gang outlet there. So a drill press is usually down here on a small band saw and then some extras in case I need to plug something else in. These are on the same circuit as the one down below. Coming down the wall, here we have a light switch which actually runs an outlet up there. And I usually have some plug-in LED lights above this bench, but I haven't figured out what I'm gonna put, if I'm gonna put them back. I don't like how they hang, so there might be a swap there. And an outlet there, and then it goes over to four more outlets there. So basically six right in the middle of the bench. So we jumped back below the bench. Um, basically up here to my left is that four gang outlet. So we're below the window here, and there's an outlet here. The top conduit just passes through. Um, that goes to the miter station. That is, you know, hooked up with all of the other outlets the miter station is. This line is ready for 20 amp, but that circuit is on with the back of the garage or the shop. Just some lights, an outlet, nothing drawing a lot of power and nothing that is on at the same time of anything I do up here. Um, the reason I did that was the shop vat goes underneath here. So it's gonna plug into this outlet so basically I now have my table saw on its own circuit, my shop vac on a different circuit, and my miter saw on a different circuit yet. Not that I would use the table saw and the miter saw at the same time. They're just in different portions of the shop so they ended up on different circuits. But the vacuum I do use with both of those. So I decided it would be good to get it off and on its own circuit instead of tied in with the shop vac or with the table saw and the miter saw. Now we come back up here. And this is the end of the conduit so far. As you can see, I have the tubing, I have the uh, outlet, the box, everything, and I have the wire run and just capped off for now. Um, that is my next thing, but I'm gonna be building the miter station. So um, basically as of right now, the line is live, but I'm gonna pull the fuse before I head out tonight. Um, I'm not gonna leave a live wire just hanging on the wall like that, even though it's capped. Really, I just wanted to make sure the outlets work for now, and then I pulled the fuse back out. So. This will get completed, but the miter station has still gotta be built in this spot, so I don't wanna complete it until I know exactly where I wanna put that box. Um, so I figured I would just leave it. Let me show you a couple other things just to go over here. So as you can see here, I spent a little bit more money. I didn't go tamper free, but because this is my shop, I don't have a lot of kids out here, um, and mine are all old enough, so. But what I do have is just 20 amp outlets everywhere. All of them are 20 amp as well as the switch of 15, 20 amps. So it's 12 to wiring and it's 20 amp. I apologize, it looked like a mess. I've been crawling around doing all this wiring and it's warm out, but um, I just wanted to reiterate it is, you know, I'm basically rated for 20 amp across the board now on this line. That's my goal on all of the circuits in the shop is to get them to 20 amp, then get a circuit box put in here and that will complete my upgrade of the wiring. Um, as well as you can see, I've painted the walls in some spots too behind me, that's sneak peek to the new wall. The one big thing I wanna know is I did this myself, yes. I have spent countless hours studying this stuff online, reading about it. This is some pretty straightforward wiring, some outlets, some switches, um, nothing complicated, no three-way switching, no four-way switching, nothing like that. Um, I do know that, you know, 12-2 wiring I know the rating for it is for 20 amp. You know, I did the research to make sure this is what I needed to do this. I will tell you now, if you have any questions, any concerns, any hesitation, call an electrician. I am not a professional electrician. 
I have friends who are. I have friends who are electrical engineers. When I get stuck, I call them. They come over and help. I've picked up a few things from them. But again, if I get that box is out of my league, I'm calling an electrician. Anything out of your league, don't mess with it, especially when it comes to electrical wiring. Just hire somebody. It's safer if you're not comfortable with it. Um, again, that's all I wanted to say is, yes, I done it, did do it myself. Yes, I'm comfortable with it. I feel 100% confident in all of the wiring I did the last couple days that I will have no fire issues, that I have all the right ratings on everything, that I have the right pieces in place, and that I have the fuses there to trip if something goes wrong. So, But again, if you're not comfortable, hire an electrician. So thanks for taking a look. Again, a sneak peek at that new color. Is it blue? Is it gray? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time.